Hello, everybody. Welcome to Truth Be Told. I pray that you are well, that your spirit, your life, your you have peace in your life today. Because nothing beats the peace of God in your life. I pray that everything that is around you right now has to bow down to the power of Jesus. Whatever chaos, whatever situation that you're going through right now, that whatever storm you're walking through, you open your mouth and say, be still in the name of Jesus. And you allow the peace of God to saturate you in the glorious name of Jesus. Because there is no name more powerful than the name Jesus. And if you identify with that name, then you start to use it appropriately in your life. I pray that this just penetrates your spirit and that you start to speak what God says in your life. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about identity today, okay? The identity. Ooh, honey, I love talking about the identity in Christ. Because unless you know who you are in Christ, you're never going to walk in your purpose, baby. So what you identify with in your life is who you are, right? So your identity in Christ should be the foundation on how you live your life. Think about it. Do you know who you are? You become more stable when you walk in your authority. So let me explain that. If you don't know who you are, you're going to continue to flow with whatever happens in your life. You think you're stable. You say you believe in God, but then you're worried. Do you know that if you worry God, you're worried about something, you're not trusting God. And if you're not trusting God, baby, listen to me. It's because you don't know. This. See, we have to learn to meditate on who God is. Right? The, the, I mean, God created the world with his word. He just said, he spoke it. And, and, and the stars hang in place. You know that they don't know how an atom is held together, but in the Bible it tells you, he who holds all things together, it's God who placed the stars, who set them, knows every name, knows every galaxy. They made the sun. He put the sun exactly where it needed to be because if it was any closer, we'd burn. If it was any farther, we'd freeze to death. You can't take these things for granted. All of creation speak of God's existence. So first is first is first. You got to put God in his proper place in your life. You got to start worshiping and praising him for just for who he is. And when you start to magnify him in your life, then every Everything else starts to go into the place where it belongs. The reason why your life is upside down, baby, is because God in you is a proper place. But I guarantee you, the day that you shift God in number one, in the place where he should be in your life, everything in your life will start to fall into place. You know why? Because he's the he, he's that centerpiece that everything else is attached to. Without it, everything else is not in the wrong place in your life. So I pray that, this, that it makes sense to you because... When everything in your life is falling out of control, and I know that I can't control anything, I'm not worried. You know why? Because the one that loves me deeply is in control of everything. So I stay calm in the midst of the storm. I stay, and I receive the peace that he gave me. It's a gift, baby, and ain't nobody taking it from me. So I pray today that you receive the gift of God's peace and that you put God in his proper place, baby, because until you know who you are in him, you'll never be able to live your life or receive what he has for you. So baby, start receiving because it's pretty amazing. I love you guys. I am on receiving road. Yes, I am. I'm here to receive everything God has for me and speaking street. Where you at? Holla.